because they had a hose running across. Oh, it didn't hold, son of a bitch. Seven, I was up at five. Priority with coffee, that's the remnants. After coffee, I, uh, I start running her bath water. Yeah, I got church in my shed. You know, Rick Pet Cemetery? Holy shit, I got I this one cat, I call her Feral Fat, right? Because she looks like, you know, she looks similar to the original baby, or the original Fit Fat, and Fit Fat's gone now, but Baby Fat's still alive. Um, and, uh, yeah, she looks similar to her, but she's feral. I mean, she's wild. Like, I can't pet her or nothing. I used to be able to pet her when she was eating if I snuck up onto her. But, yeah, so anyway, she got babies under my shed. And there's a part on the original portion of the shed that she can get inside from underneath. And every time I go in there, she starts fucking... <laughs> and I'm like, it's my shed. And she, yeah, so she's going to fucking rip my throat out. It's going to be good. Let's go see if what we made is going to work. What is all over it? Oh, it's pollen. Huh. That is not light. I need a freaking wrench. I brought screwdrivers. I didn't bring a wrench. Hey, look, I made a nest all on my fucking battery. Obviously, in retrospect, I should have come down and seen what the actual setup was. Because it's been a couple years since I put this in, right? I doubt you can just cut these wires and splice them together. I have no knife. And I have no clippers. I want to get that zip tie off. And I don't have my kill, my god. I didn't get prepared at all. Apparently, I didn't put my new pin lock key on this key ring. I'm going to go back to my house five times. Okay, I have another truck. didn't hold the wires hot enough when I went to close the gate and so now it thinks that's the closed position. <laughs> Ok, 
Okay, well as you can see the battery died. But uh, I got it all done. And in case you didn't know, uh, you can use vegetable oil as well. I never knew if vegetable oil worked. But I saw some old vegetable oil in the cabinet the other day. I thought, hey, let me give this a try next time I get sticky sticky. And I just got sticky sticky like this gutter, you know, sealant, flashing sealant, whatever it is. Uh, super duper sticks, right? So, uh, no goo. And I love my fingers. But I, uh, I, uh, I got it off with vegetable oil. I always knew olive oil. I didn't always know. Always knew. But I've known for a while that olive oil is good for that. Yeah, but I read several years back that olive oil was good for that, and that's what I use. I used to always just have told you all this before. I used to just clip the skin away until I got to uh, skin that had not been had glue on it sticky on it because it drives me bonkers. Red olive oil, wonderful. A little bit of olive oil, rubby rubby. Vegetable is way cheaper. Works just as good. Doesn't smell as good. It works as good. Y'all probably knew that anyway. Most of y'all are smarter than me. If y'all didn't, Winter damn sure did because Winter knows everything. Can't catch Winter on a early day under an oak tree. I don't know what that means. So y'all getting these giant plates here. Oh my goodness. Shit, I may put them on the truck and drive them here. They're kind of heavy. Well, I think I screwed up big time. I mean, I know I screwed up big time. These are... I don't know what, half inch maybe? Three eighths inch? That kind of sucks. So see, what had happened was, I thought these three were this thickness. I mean, you can see the difference. It's a start. Got $500 more. Well, no. Railroad ties are expensive. About $1,000 more. I can complete both sides and uh, then refine the system. Refine the system. Okay, there it is. See it settle down in a couple days. If it's not good, I'll come out and level it. I didn't have study cam on, so you are probably just shaking like a farker. Oh, it's so dark. Yeah, put it on pro, turn up the ISO a little bit, and that's like daytime, even though it's totally dark as fark. So yeah, I got some of that sticky icky in there. Hopefully keep me critters out. And uh, it's got a nice stain on here. Um, stain is held up with my rest of my wood pretty good, but like... These panels are pressure treated, but this stuff is just like indoor soft white pine for like a trim board or whatever. Pretty happy with it. Might decide to put some spar urethane on it. But mainly that'll be just to see how spar urethane holds up exposed to sun to see if I want to use it on future projects. If nothing else, it'd probably be beneficial to put a put it on the, uh, I can't focus, I'm trying to put on a, that, that, that uh, OSB sheathing underneath the sheet metal. It might be beneficial if nothing else to put spar urethane on that. Apparently spar urethane will expose to direct sunlight will tend to yellow. So I'm a little bit hesitant to do it, but I don't not necessarily care. I mean, that's, that would be the point to see how much it uh, affects it. But yeah, it's still a little bit, a little bit cattywampus like that, ever so slightly. It was super like that. I dug out that left brick, but maybe a little bit too much. So I might need to Lift it up and stick some dirt under there, or just dig out the right one a little bit. Like I say, we'll see how it's supposed to rain over the next couple of days. We'll see how she settles out. That's why I have it on bricks, because when it rains, this whole area fills up with water. And also, that's the reason uh, I've got those 2x4s as a base for the whole thing. So I have the 2x4s as a base, and then I've got them raised up to that, so the whole bottom can air out as well uh, with those furring strips, that's what they're called. And then, uh, then I have 2x4s under that, and then of course cinder blocks under that. 
So, man, that's a, a trip date update. Are you kidding me? Wow, crazy, right? I have been reorganizing. All this stuff still got to go out to the shed. I have no place for it, but I still got to go out there. I have been reorganizing. Building shelves out of the last little bit of wood I had to try to get some organization factor going in here. I mean, I don't really want these cabinets filled with tools and garbage, but I got no choice until I get other stuff built. So, uh, it'll do for now. That'll do, Jim. That'll do. Still got way too much bullshit. Oh my goodness. And so I did just measure. And I got 60, 120, I got like 100, and just under 136 inches worth of counter. And I got about 142 inches worth of wall to wall floor space. So if we can get it in the room, which I'm not convinced we can at this point, I should be able to do it. But oh my God, I'm going to have to get real skinny, go around the edges, and it's going to be annoying as frig. But the only other choice is to just move it right here in the kitchen on saw horses, put down plastic and move it right here on saw horses and go at it, which honestly, that may be what I end up doing. That may be the easiest, just I lock a dog outside, lock another dog in a bedroom and just uh, get to it. Because here I'd actually have move around space, especially if I situate this end, like right in this area, because then I can, I got a little cut back right here I can walk into and uh, get around. And then that part's skinny, and the skinny part would take up, you know, all through here. That's honestly, that's probably what's going to be end up happening, because then that's going to be a lot easier. Because this has got to come in and out like two or three times, right? I'm really going to try to fit it in and out of the bedroom when I can just go right out the door and come back in. Okay, yeah, decision made. So probably next week when the old lady's off, it'll be counter time. I mean, maybe this week if she's feeling it. Okay, it's time. Well, you can't see crap from this angle. But I'm scared to lift y'all up because it's super windy. And last time I had y'all lift it up, y'all dropped. Mm, hopefully I'll stay this time. Psst, off, cat! Yeah, I'm a little bit of a creep, I guess. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure, he's been building something all day, and I'm trying to figure out what it is. But I don't know what he's building. I mean, that looks like, I don't know what that is. It looks like a gate, actually. Like a gate or a baby gate. I don't know what it is. But he's been, it looks like he's been building something, carrying it. I don't know. I don't know what they're building. It must be for inside or around the garden. I don't know. He's got chicken coops and stuff in the back, but... I can never show you that because I'd have to like literally just set the camera in front of his house on the road and <laughs> that probably wouldn't take too kindly to that so I'll just I'll avoid that situation but yeah I uh got the counter off got the counter off got it here I was gonna do the first run of epoxy tonight and I was like oh crap you know what helps to do that is uh containers in which to put and mix the epoxy but I forgot to order any and I had the little ones, but those were good for this little. It's good for that one. Not good for this one. So I got some two and a half quart buckets coming, but they won't be here. Oh no, you're just. So anyway, so yeah, I will. Uh, I had to leave it off though. I'll put, go ahead and put in my corner braces, and uh, you know here and here and down yonder, put a couple of them. Um, I'll probably just put like one in that first drawer and then one on the far side on that last drawer and then, you know, boom, boom on this one, one, one. They say you're always supposed to put them in the front. I put them on the back on this small counter. Uh, I'll honestly, I'll probably do the same thing on these two and, uh, go ahead and cinch it down. And, uh, yeah. So, you know, I worked at Home Depot for a number of years. And if you're one minute late, you're tardy. And if you get three tardies, that counts as missing a day of work. If you're 15 minutes late, that counts as missing a day of work. One time. Like, it's insane how stupid the shit is. So I had times where I'd, like, take my kid to track or, like, my kid's car broke down. Like, all sorts of different scenarios. Take him to the doctor, got sick, whatever. Then I'd be, like, 5, 10, 15 minutes late for work. 
and they always want to make such a f***ing big deal out of it. Yet they can't enforce the mother f***ing mask mandate. They literally have signs on their f***ing doors, you must, all shoppers must wear face coverings, even if you've had the COVID-19 vaccine. And 85% of the people in the store do, but 15% don't. And so naturally, you know, I'm feeling f***ing feisty. So I'm just, I'm calling out every one of them loudly to their f***ing faces. Oh, you a dumb mother you can't read signs, huh? You just walking around no f***ing mask. Goddamn full year into the pandemic. Okay, shit, fur, I mean, whatever. Shit, fuck, dumb bird, fucking idiot, moron, loser, dipshit, face, whatever, accordingly. Like, whatever f***ing pops out of my mouth for each individual face that I f***ing pass. So, uh, Tor, I'm trying to check out, and there's these two f***ing dipshits that I already saw earlier. But they weren't, I wasn't close enough to say nothing to them. And here they are, fucking strolling down the middle of the goddamn main aisle, just trying to take up as much of it as possible. And I'm like, you want to you wanna try to, you know, not take up the whole fucking aisle? And dude's trying to be, and dude was, it was hilarious. Dude's like, yes, sir. And like, trying to move out of the way, like, trying to be polite and shit. And I'm like, you dumb fucking can't even wear a goddamn mask in a fucking pandemic. Can't read a sign. Fucking morons. And I go on to my checkout. And sure enough, they're at the next checkout beside me a few minutes later. And I look up, and I see him there. I'm like, yeah, you heard me, motherfucker. I'm like, yeah, you heard me. He's like, you, I didn't say motherfucker. I'm like, yeah, you heard me. He's like, you heard me too. I was like, no, I didn't. But you probably said some stupid shit, because you're a stupid shit. Dumb bitch. He's like, you're a bitch. I'm like, maybe, but at least I'm not stupid. So, anyway, that was pretty awesome. And he keep on wanting to run his mouth. I'm like, dude, shut the up. Don't even talk to me. I don't engage with stupid motherfuckers. And he didn't say a word to me after that. He didn't come outside. He didn't, I think he hung around inside, waited until I left, because I never even saw him come out the store. So, and he was with his buddy. So there was two of them and one of me. I don't give a f And there was a big, big boy right beside him, no mask, and he heard me saying all the shit before they even walked up. Look at this dumb shit. Oh, no, you're good, bud. No, you're fucking good. What the actual fuck are you even doing? You stupid shit, dude. Get the fuck up to speed before I hit you, motherfucker. So anyway, uh, yeah, big boy is, I, I don't even see them in line. I'm literally looking at the dude across from me. And she's like, how you doing today? I'm like, I'd be doing better if y'all enforce your fucking mask policy. And she's like, well, you know, we can't enforce it. We can't make everybody do things. I'm like, yeah, you can. It's called trespassing. It's called you can't enter my store. You follow my rules or you can't enter my store. Do you let people in with no shoes, no shirt? No, you don't. Of course you can. I'm not saying it's your job. It's your manager's job. I worked at this Home Depot. I know every goddamn manager in the fucking building. And apparently all the ones on duty suck. Um... So yeah, and uh, so that's that, but whatever, it is what it is. Some shit knows he's supposed to have a red fucking tag or rag hanging off the back of his kayak. I don't know if he does or not, but I'm disappointed either way. He ought to know, driving a truck like that, you ought to know that you fucking put, put markings. Put markings over your shit, for fuck's sakes. Definitely gonna be time to, to get some tin too. Some tin too? Some tin soon. I was thinking sheet metal. Uh, some sheet metal soon. Not tin. Some sheet metal soon. Because uh, it's freaking bright, man. I'm gonna need some covering. I need some covering, but not today. But soon. Okay, so don't know if I've covered this or not. Situation this. Second set of targets I ordered. One of them they sent me was 3 8 inch, not half inch. I need 3 8 inch. We've been in communication. He's sending me my half inch. I'm going to strip the paint off this one, and he's sent me a shipping label. I'm going to send this back to him. Well, you piss it in my chest. Okay, I never, uh, I've never stripped paint before. I honestly, I shouldn't have even offered to send this back. I did. I was like, would you like to me send this back? I shouldn't have. I should keep it for my fucking trouble. But, yeah, I'm a nice guy, so what the fuck. Um, it's not my responsibility to send the right shit, but... Yeah. Pour in a metal container, apply a thick coat with a paintbrush to a small area, brush one direction only, Leave the area and let the stripper do the work. After 15 minutes, test scrape a small area to see if it's finished is ready for removal. 
I ought to just repaint it black and set it on its fucking way. I don't know if I showed it. But I fixed my pipe the other day. My uh, pipe that I buried here when I first came, because they had a hose running across. Oh, fuck, it didn't hold, son of a bitch. They had a hose across the yard. I mean, I didn't hold out high hopes, to be honest, because, yeah, all right, shit. So, yeah, I uh, put this in 10 years ago when I first came here to replace the garden hose that ran across the distance. And I came out, I don't know, a few weeks back and noticed we had a crack. So I cut the pipe right above this valve and... Uh, but apparently the crack extends down into it, so. And this pipe is not your standard uh, thickness PVC. I don't, probably didn't know what I was doing when I bought it or my father-in-law bought it, I don't know. But I'm actually gonna go ahead and attempt to just, I don't know, maybe I'll just cut it lower. I'll probably just cut it lower and just replace it and see if that holds, and if it does, good. If not, I'll dig up the whole thing and replace it with galvanized. Okay. I have to bypass the uh, bypass the valve, but that's fine. Wow! See how thin that pipe is? Yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and dig that up, as that is way thinner than the average uh, average. How you doing? Well, it looks like we got an ant bed in there too, so that'll be that'll be fun going. It'll be fun going at will. Hey. 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 residual left in the pipe and it's all flowing downhill. I can't believe that pipe is so thin. I can't believe I put PVC in the ground. It was so thin. I can't believe I knew so little 10 years ago. And I don't know how it's still honestly I don't know how it's still lasting. I don't know how water's coming out of that pipe because that valve was turned off. I think it's been 15 minutes. Look at this bit of rotten poo. Bit of rotten, the rotten shit. Look at this, a little bit, of, bit of, a little bit of rotten. Oh my goodness. Okay, I lost you in the middle of the stripping. It was pretty awesome. It came off in big gloopy gloops, and uh, I threw it away, and then I, uh, I sprayed it back down with black because I was apparently that's black paint also, and I was stripping off some of their shit. But there's the remnants of it. There's a little gloopy gloop. Probably Conti Masant it. And uh, oh shit, I should probably get my uh, my plumbing stuff. <sighs> so yeah, I uh, damn it, I'm gonna suck, I'm gonna suck this water out. Uh, yeah, I'll have to suck this water out, mother farker. Got no choice.
How's that even possible? Water's definitely not on. And there is no leakage. Aha, uh -huh. there we go. Open it up, let it drain out. Now I bet we're getting rid of all the water. So it's just pressure in the line. So I'm not using this. Like, where did that come from? This is what I want. This and this and not that and this. I need one of those. Tell me I got an elbow. Come on, tell me I got an elbow. Tell me I don't have to go to the store. Huh? Huh? Sweet. Glorious, glorious sweetness. The top portion is good. But the only portion that's going to be bad is the bottom portion.
get my plumbing hooked up, you know, out there, all cinched up and fixed and, and buried again. So that's good. Got that fixed. And, uh, what else went for a nice little motorcycle ride I did. And, uh, man, I'm getting dangerous. And, uh, <laughs> and what else did I do? Uh, I did something else. Can't remember what. Uh, oh, I mowed the lawn. I did some lawn mowing. No, I mean, I didn't mow the whole lawn. I mowed, mowed the back lawn where all the sewer lines run or the well or the uh, subject tank lines run and the grass grows thick and quick. And I mowed that down. And I was going to do some shooting, but uh, when the old lady went to work, but uh, I decided instead I'd just start drinking because that sounded more that sounded more fun. Uh, oh, I did get that target fixed up. What did I do with that darn thing? Hmm. So, yeah, you can't do it in it. But I got that stripped down nice. And uh, put a nice, nice uh, coat of black paint back on it, and uh, I'll send that back next week. And yeah, and I'll, 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 uh, I'll start epoxying this on. I don't know when. I don't know when I'll do it. 